guys, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk back with you again today for a new video. Today I have a very special video for you guys. A couple friends and I went over to St. Louis, Missouri this week on Thursday, April 9th, 2019 to see Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers. Now if you have not seen my channel, you know I'm a... or if you have not seen my channel, you might not know that I'm a massive fan of Laura Jane Grace and Against Me. And uh, I have a lot of history with that band. It's one of the first punk bands that I really got into. My first punk show was uh, Green Day with Against Me opening. So I have a really deep history with that band. I really got into them a couple years ago. And Laura Jane Grace is one of my absolute heroes. Like, I love, absolutely worship her music. And so it was a very special night for me, not only because I uh, saw them live, for the second time, second time that I saw her side project, The Devouring Mothers, and it was uh, overall the third time that I've seen Laura Jane Grace in concert. But it was also incredibly special because I have quite a story to tell you guys. I met Laura Jane Grace at the show, I got some really awesome signed stuff, and so I want to uh, go ahead and uh, tell you guys about that at the towards the end of this video. But anyway, I want to go ahead and run some clips from the show. I was obviously incredibly excited to see them. Again, I saw The Devouring Mothers in Indianapolis way back last November of 2018. And so this was the second time I've seen them. The set list changed a little bit, um, but the show was overall the same. And I uh, just want to go ahead and run a few clips that I got from the show. Overall, the show is fantastic. Like I said, the set list changed up just a tiny bit. She played most of the same songs that she played in indie, just in different orders. She played the entire record that they released, Bought to Rot, way back in November, which was my um, number one record of the year in 2018. I really loved that. And uh, so uh, she played the entire record. She also played a few covers for the Mountain Goats. Um, she played another cover that I think that she played in Indianapolis, and I can't remember what it is, but it was a really good song. I think I got a clip of it. She also played 
a couple songs from her solo EP from 2007, Heartburns, and I really loved those songs as well. She played a couple Against Me songs that she did not play the first time. She played Ache With Me, which I got the very tail end of that song on one of my clips, which is a fantastic Against Me song from uh, White Crosses. She also played True Trans Soul Rebel as her closer. In the, uh, she had an acoustic encore, so the band went off, and then she came back on. She played four more songs acoustic. I think a couple of them were covers. The other two were Against Me songs, which was fantastic. She also played Cavalier Eternal again, which she closed the Indianapolis show with that song because it was the 15-year anniversary of their second of Against Me's second album, and that song is on that second album. Uh, it's definitely in my top five Against Me songs of all time. I love that song so much, so I was really happy that she left that in the set list as well. So overall, the set was fantastic. The venue was fantastic. It was at the Old Rock House in St. Louis, and I had never been there before, but that's definitely going to be one of my favorite venues of all time, if not my favorite. It's a very small venue. It's got like a bar area in the front where they have like the merch and stuff, and then they have some like table areas where you can literally like watch the show on the TV screen, um, which we did that for the opening acts. And then there's the dance floor in the middle, and it, the pit was fantastic. Really, really great, great venue. There's also a brewery that's like um, a block or so away. You can literally see it from the venue, which is awesome. It's called Four Hands Brewery in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So my friends and I went there. We tried a couple of their local beers, which were fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I, I maybe had a couple a couple too much at the beginning of the show, but uh, kind of sobered up throughout. It was overall a fantastic show. Another reason that it was fantastic, one of the friends that I took with me, if you're watching this, you know who you are. You are incredibly awesome. But she goes to a lot of concerts, and she knew, like, how to maneuver her way through the crowd and stuff. So we ended up with a really great spot. She also got me a set list at the very end of the show, so you know when they hand out like set lists, drumsticks, guitar picks. She got one of the only guitar picks, if not the only guitar pick, that was handed out directly from Laura Jane Grace's pocket herself, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but I got a set list, I got it signed up by all of the band members, so I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So yeah, this was one of the two or three set lists that they had for the show, this may or may not have been Laura's set list, which would make it even cooler. It was either Laura's or Adam's, because it came from that side of the stage. But anyway, I got uh, Mark Jacob Hudson. He's the bassist for the band. His signature there. Got Adam Willard and Laura Jane Grace. And Adam kind of wrote in there that this song was fun, I guess, fun to play, which was it was fun to listen to. But yeah, that was really awesome. Um, and then I also got the, the, the blue vinyl. This is a tour exclusive blue vinyl for this, for the record. So I'll show you that real quick. I didn't get that signed, um, just the set list, but incredibly cool. That's definitely going to be framed. But yeah, there's the, uh, the blue record. So I have the online pre-order exclusive red vinyl that I got from Bloodshot Records. Now I have the tour exclusive blue vinyl. My friend actually got the blue vinyl signed by all the members of the band, which was awesome. Um, Mark and Adam were really awesome too. So here's the story. Um, Adam, there was like a little line of people because Adam was up at the stage. He was signing stuff and talking to people and shit. And uh, so we were in line to talk to Adam. And then all of a sudden, this uh, on the side, there's this door on the side and Laura Jane Grace just walks in through there. And so we were in like... We were like three people away from her, so we automatically like jumped in line to, to go talk to her. And um, she was just like the coolest person ever. I'm sure I uh, I felt like I said something stupid. I probably did. I don't really remember it remember it all that well. Um, but uh, it was just this awesome flood of emotion. Like I've never met one of my favorite musicians of all time, and it was just an incredible experience. She was so cool. Like when my friend uh, my friend who was in front of me when she came up, she like asked her if she could sign the record and asked if she could get a picture and Laura was just like yeah absolutely I, I don't know why I'm standing behind this rope that's a little ridiculous <laughs> is basically what she said because um, she was like there was this like rope 
where the band was walking off outside that door and she was standing behind it and yeah just an incredible down-to-earth person really cool I'll go ahead and throw in a picture of uh, the picture that I got with Laura if you follow me on Instagram I already posted that a while ago so but yeah um, here's the uh, uh, the guitar pick so they didn't really hand out any guitar picks they in fact said at the end of the show that they had just bought a bunch that day and so they weren't handing out any picks she apparently doesn't play any custom picks but this came directly from Laura Jean Grace's pocket herself and it was definitely played from the show you can tell that it's been beat up so it was either played in this show or one of the other shows relatively recently but yeah a played guitar pick from Laura Jane Grace's pocket one of the coolest things of music memorabilia that I have for sure um, so yeah overall just one of the best nights of my life absolutely I also got my exam results. Uh, there's this big exam that you have to take if you want to become a teacher in the state of Illinois. I got those <laughs> results back that night and I passed. So for sure, absolutely one of the best nights of my life. Um, incredible show again. I think I I actually wrote down notes for everything that I needed to remember to say on this video because I, it's it's been it's been 48 hours. It still doesn't feel like it actually happened. <laughs> so it was just an incredibly cool night. Yeah, Laura Jane Grace and Devouring Mothers. If they're coming near you, you need to go see them. They're so good. Laura has so much energy. Adam Willard's one of the best drummers in punk rock music. I absolutely love seeing him play the drums. Um, and he was really cool as well. I got to talk to him for like a minute. I didn't get a picture with him, but um, he signed up the set list and everything. So yeah, incredible night, incredible show. Definitely my favorite concert of all time because of what happened at the end there. Um... And yeah, I couldn't couldn't be more thankful for that experience. So anyway, I will go ahead and leave you guys with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like. Hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future content. I am going to go see the uh, swimmers in St. Louis on April 23rd. And I may or may not be seeing the main relatively soon as well. So stay tuned for those concert reviews. Um, movie reviews coming up soon. Obviously, Avengers Endgame comes out really soon. So... I'm going to go see that on opening night. I already have tickets. So stay tuned for that as well. Have an amazing day. Bye.